Hello everyone. Let's learn about symptom management. Treatment. General measures. Calm, reassuring attitude. Nurse patient in a position of least discomfort. Physiotherapy. Improve air circulation. Distraction therapy. Relaxation exercises. Breathing control techniques. Counseling. Treatment. Oxygen. If hypoxic, if it improves symptoms, terminal care situation, bronchodilators, if there is a reversible element to the bronchial obstruction, corticosteroids, effective bronchodilators, for dyspnea due to multiple metastasis, lymphangitis, carcinomatosis, and pneumonitis. Treatment Opioids the most useful agents in the treatment of dyspnea, nebulized morphine, effective for some patients, although control studies do not support its use, risk of bronchospasm, aid expectoration, steam, nebulized saline, mucolytic agents, expectorants, physiotherapy. Treatment, reduce excess secretions, anticholinergics, antitussives, if dyspnea exacerbated by coughing, anxiolytics. Examples of drug therapy, bronchodilators and corticosteroids, mean to the minimum effective dose after a few days. Examples of drug therapy, opioids, morphine 5 to 10 mg per oral for every 4 hour or 4 hourly PRN and titrate. 50% increase in dose for patients on morphine for pain. Nebulized morphine not recommended. Anxiolytics, diazepam, alprazolam, lorazepam. Examples of drug therapy. Mucolytics for sputum retention, humidified air, steam, nebulized saline. O acetylcysteine, 10%, 6 to 10 mg by nebulizer for every 6 to 8 hours. Anticholinergics for excessive secretions, glycopyrrolate, hysine hydrobromide. Examples of drug therapy, terminal care. Treatment should be purely symptomatic in the last week or days of life. Investigation should be avoided. Antibiotic therapy is usually not warranted. If of benefit, bronchodilator therapy can be continued by mask. Unconscious patients who still appear dyspneic should be treated with morphine. Thank you, my friends.